Well, Clive Palmer has been in the firing line in recent weeks for sacking workers at his Queensland nickel factory while allegedly using money from that company to fund his Palmer United Party. Well, he's joining us now to answer a few questions. Mr Palmer, good morning to you. Oh, good morning, Lisa. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, Mr Palmer, the Courier Mail says this morning that you've been telling a few porkies <laughs> in recent days. So can we just clear some things up? Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Now, did you authorise Queensland Nickel to donate almost $6 million to the Palmer United Party at a time when nickel prices were already on the slide and there was a freeze on jobs? Absolutely not. That's just not, not true. There was, was a freeze on jobs. There's been a freeze on jobs for a number of years because uh, that's right across the resource industry. Um, but that's got nothing to do with that. At the, uh, but that's just not true. But the, the uh, nickel price was already on the slide at that time when that donation was made. Did you make that donation? Uh, no, that's not true, of course. Uh, you know, that donation you're talking about in uh, 2014 was made um, at the end of the year. I was a director in uh, January um, 2015. At that time, the nickel price was $6.50 and the, and the uh, refinery was very buoyant. There's an audit report, 30th of June, which goes to that whole financial year. Uh, it shows the company's got $1.95 billion of assets and it's got a $73 million Ford uh, forecast. So none of what the Courier Mail's writing is true, but you know, Rupert Murdoch, he's still upset that I exposed the world his wife, Wendy Dang, was a spy. And uh, he, you know, when you upset poor old Rupert, he, well, over there in New York, he gets on Skype and continues to pester you. All right, well, let's, let's not get uh, distracted by those sorts of silly allegations. I, I put it to well, you, Well, that's Clive... not a silly allegation, that's true. I put it to you, Clive Palmer, that at a time when your company, Queensland Nickel, was sinking, you used precious capital to launch your party to keep it afloat um, at the ultimate expense of your workers. Well, that's absolutely not true. As I said, the audit report, which was signed in September 2015, shows the company is very healthy, that it's got a um, net assets of $1.9 billion. Uh, it's got uh, no problem. The nickel price absolutely collapsed in October. It went for something like uh, right down to $3.80 it is today when we took over the plant. Um, in 2009 from BHP when they were going to close it. It was $7 a nickel price. Today it's three eighty. Today we've still got 550 people employed and we're fighting to, to keep the 1,600 people in Townsville employed that depend on the plant. That's a first class effort. Have you been using the pseudonym Terry Smith to send emails about the running of Queensland Nickel at a time when you were no longer authorised to do so? No, that's not true. Um, it's but just hang a, it's on, another, Palmer, another you, lie that the Korean Mail... No, Mail you, ad, you admitted that... in court in September last year mm. to using the name Terry mm. Smith in emails. What have you got to hide, Clive? No, that's not true, of course. Anyone but I've sent an email to from me have you, or have you not uh, used me. the name Terry Smith no, to send me, emails me, uh, in no, order could, to hide could you your identity? Let me answer your question? No, could you please let me answer your question? The question, answer is everyone I've sent an email to knows it comes from me and who I am. As I travel around Australia, I use many emails, but the people who are receiving Hang the on, why on earth would you use any e many emails? Your name is Clive Palmer. Why would you want to hide your identity with emails? If you log in at any airport, if I'm you're not, on I'm Wi-Fi, you my can identity. use your uh, own email address. Yeah, well, I'm not hiding my identity. I don't uh, resolve from any message I've sent to anybody at any time. But if you're and still if trying to run Queensland, Queensland Nickel well, at a time when you're no longer your authorised to do so because you're no, a politician in our federal question. parliament... your question? It's just not true. It looks like you are it's trying to true. hide that you are still running Sorry. a company it's, and a company that has now true. sacked more it's than 200 workers. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just not true. You know, it's just not true. What's you know, not true? I'm a member of the expenditure... I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that I'm a member of the Expenditure Approval Committee at Queensland Nickel with five other people who don't run the company, just approve the capital expenditure. So did and you donate $6 million dollars in order to prop up no, your political party? You didn't. No, that's not true. I, I haven't donated any money um, to the, uh, with what you're saying when the company is in any, any sort of difficulty. At a the time when I made you were Palm running... At, at, the donations I made... Can I please finish? At the donations I made to Palm United were in 2013, three years ago. But now, for a, a number moment of years there, ago, you, we gave you became a director Mercedes again, Benz so workers. you had the opportunity <laughs> to take money from Queensland Nickel and put it towards the Palm United and, and, Party. And again, this is at the ultimate and the, expense and the of workers is, who have now been...
been sacked, more than 200 of them. And the answer is, I them. didn't do that. And the answer is, I didn't do that. That's fabrication okay, so by the media. You're saying you it's didn't. just not true. OK, we'll let the record right. show you that you said you did You the question, I gave you the answer. OK, Clive, more That's than 200 right, families are really hurting right now after you sacked them from Queensland Nickel. You're a very rich That's man. You've yeah, boasted yeah. it. You've boasted about being a very <laughs> rich man for a very anybody. long time. Uh, it's not true. Queensland Nickel has it's, sacked it's more than true. 200 workers. It's just, You're a it's very just rich true. man. Why don't you just you pay those to, you entitlements? You need to let me tell me the... Uh, uh, when the people were made redundant to save the other 2,000 jobs in, in Townsville, because the Queensland government and the federal government didn't really care about these workers, and we had to change our cash flow, they were all given two weeks' uh, salary in advance, and immediately their entitlements were worked out. The administrator was appointed. He made the decision that he wasn't going to pay entitlements. Not me, not Mr Mensick, or not anyone else. But I've been criticising the, cre the press about that, and it's just completely a fabrication by the Murdoch press and by the media. It's untrue. Clive, you've sat yourself in front of a lot of very expensive yachts. You like to show off your, your wealth. Look, wh you've talked try about to, it why, many why times. Try to, why not ask me a question? Why not make all these statements? Okay, just, the question uh, is, why don't you just pay the entitlements your, your to those 200 bosses, sacked workers? Your bosses are gendered. Because Clive, just like Kerry here's Spock the question. Folks, he's not why? responsible for you. Clive, here's the question. Just, I've given $250 million, $250 million of my assets of our, our company's assets, rather, have been made available to the administrator to pay workers' entitlements and to keep the company going. There's no other shareholder in the history of the Commonwealth that has done that. $250 million. Do okay, you understand so that? we're establishing you understand that you're a generous man. Workers' entitlements man. are 16. We're establishing... No, you're you've establishing asked me why I don't do these things. I'm saying I have. OK, and why don't you do a little bit it. more to the, put those Murdoch families... Press won't report it. Clive, can I ask a question well, now? It's a, it's a tragedy, what okay. you're saying to the families. You've just, I'm very sorry You've for just it. declared that you're a very generous man. Let's take that on board and take it a little bit further. Why don't you pay those entitlements to those 200 families? More than 200. Because the, the, the administrator decided not to. He's currently conducting a report. He's entitled to do that report so he can investigate anything that the workers want to be investigated. We have to wait for his report. I've made $250 million available. I challenge Malcolm Turnbull and the Queensland Premier to do that. They don't care. They've made no funds available for the workers. They've made no assets available. I personally have taken $250 million of my assets and done that. Now, let's get fair about all this. It's now up to the administrator. He's been appointed to do that. All Why right, don't you him? OK, you're a, you're a politician Thanks. in federal parliament these days. Is it fair to say that your stint has been at best an embarrassment and at worst a disaster? You fall asleep in parliament. You often well, don't well, bother to turn up. Your so-called well, Palmer United well, if, Party if has you answer, imploded. You, answer, you betrayed the faith of I, everyone I can, who I, believed I, in you. Listen, from Queensland Nickel your to your Chinese you, partners to your workers to voters in your electorate. I know you're, what I know do you you're think the average Australian voter... Please, please, Clive, I don't work for Rupert Murdoch. What do you think the average Australian voter thinks of you right now? I know you're going to bonus from Rupert into people employ you, but the, Clive, the right answer to the Rupert question Murdoch. is this. If, can I, you, you can really I please don't answer care the question? About the truth, do you? Can I please... Listen, can I answer the question? You've asked me a question, now give please. me the courtesy of letting me well, answer it. Well, I haven't it. finished, if, so if now believe, I'm finished, you can. Well, OK, OK. If you, OK, let me answer your question. Please. If you think you should have had a co-payment, if you think university fees should have been $100,000 uh, $100, degrees, then Palm United has done nothing. If you think 30,000 uh, asylum seekers shouldn't have been released and the share visas introduced, there was no point having Palm United. If you think Tony Abbott's 2014 budget shouldn't have been stopped and he should still be Prime Minister, well, he wouldn't want Palm United. But we stopped the 2014 budget and Tony Abbott paid the consequences of it. And we uh, saved Arena, saved the Clean Energy Corporation, and we, uh, and we saved Low Income Super, saved the school kids bonus for Australia. Of all those things, my time in Parliament has not been wasted. There are people and children that appreciate all of that because they get $800 school kids allowance that neither Abbott nor the Labor Party would have given them if we weren't there holding the balance of power. 22,000 so, so people have if you've been done lost so in the much good work, in Queensland why do you think and you're attacking Australia us. thinks you are a joke at the moment? I don't think they do. We get a lot of support every day. I are think you it's going the to media recontest Fairfax? It's controlled by a few people in this country. Are you going of to recontest? Are. You are? I mean, we don't take, we don't take this sort of uh, interrogation as being real free press and freedom of speech in this country. Look at the way you've treated me this morning, trying to talk over me, not allow me to answer questions. No, I just questions. wanted to finish the, the questions that I was asking you. Well, give me a question and then let me answer it. OK, so are you going to um, have a tilt at the Senate? 
Well, no, I'll be, I'll be contesting my seat of Fairfax, where last time yeah, your program and other people said I had 0.1% of the vote, but I got elected with 50.3% of the vote. So it's difficult to get the journalists to count properly. Okay, and Clive, of course, we'll everyone have... predicts our, our downfall. All right, Clive, we'll have to leave it there. The Thanks best. for your time this morning. All the best. Uh, it was a pleasure. Come. Bye.